Barnaby Joyce is a New Zealand citizen, NZPM confirms. New Zealand's Prime Minister has confirmed that, unwittingly or not, Barnaby Joyce is a citizen of the country because his father was born there. The Deputy Prime Minister revealed this morning that he was contacted by the New Zealand High Commission last Thursday and advised he could be a citizen of New Zealand by descent. Prime Minister Bill English said he was informed about Mr Joyce's case late last week and according to local law, he is a New Zealand citizen. It is a matter for the Australian system to decide how Australian law applies in his case and how they deal with this issue, he told reporters. Under New Zealand law, children born to New Zealand citizens automatically obtain citizenship. It does not have to be activated. It will now be up to the High Court to decide whether Mr. Joyce, in holding dual citizenship, has breached Section 44 of the Constitution and is eligible to sit in Parliament. Mr. English appeared to have some sympathy for Mr. Joyce, saying cases like his are almost always accidental. No one sets out to confuse the public with their citizenship, he said. Labor demands Joyce stand aside but with his government slim. One seat majority in the House of Representatives potentially hanging in the balance, Mr. Joyce's political opponents can smell blood. Both the Greens, which have lost two senators over dual citizenship dramas, and the Labour Party have called on Mr. Joyce to resign as Deputy Prime Minister until the High Court rules on his case. How on earth can this government have someone in the office of Deputy Prime Minister when they don't even know if he's meant to be a member of Parliament? Labour frontbencher Tony Burke asked. He pointed out that National Senator Matt Canavan recently resigned from Cabinet after learning that he had unwittingly become an Italian dual citizen at the age of 25 when his mother registered him with Italian authorities. However, Mr. Joyce is refusing to stand down, saying the government's lawyers were of the firm view that the High Court would not disqualify him because his New Zealand citizenship had been conferred on him without his knowledge. Turnbull, very confident, Joyce won't be disqualified. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull strongly defended his deputy during a rowdy question time saying the government was very confident of its legal advice and predicting the High Court will rule in Mr. Joyce's favor. The leader of the National Party, the Deputy Prime Minister, is qualified to sit in this House and the High Court will so hold, he said. In the face of Labour's assault leader of the House, Christopher Pine warned the opposition against opening Pandora's box. He named four MPs whose citizenship could also be under a clow, Susan Lamb, Tony Zappia, Justine Key and Maria Van Bakenu. Earlier, opposition leader Bill Shorten politely declined Mr. Turnbull's suggestion of a joint referral to the High Court of any federal politicians whose circumstances may raise questions under Section 44. Labour's National Secretary Noah Carroll also released a statement outlining the party's exhaustive vetting process and said he was confident every member of the Labour caucus has been properly elected. Mr Joyce said he was shocked when he received the news from the New Zealand High Commission, adding, I have always been an Australian citizen. The National Party leader was born in Tamworth in New South Wales in 1967. He said his father was born in New Zealand but moved to Australia in 1947 as a British subject. In fact, we were all British subjects at that time. Neither my parents nor I have ever applied to register me as a New Zealand citizen. The New Zealand government has no register recognizing me as a New Zealand citizen, Mr. Joyce told Parliament. Thank you for watching movie. Please like and subscribe to support us.